hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is solomon jagwe so i'm picking up from my previous tutorial where i showed you how to create a character in uh, character creator 3.3 using the skin gen plugin yeah and uh, a character brought in from daz uh, studio a black a black character and we wanted to see how it would look in uh, the new character creator 3.3 uh, with skin gen so someone mentioned something that uh, caught my attention in uh, it comments in my previous video he said that it looks like yeah it looks like the the videos i mean the textures for black characters don't look as great as caucasian characters so i went back and dug deeper and i was able to actually look at the settings and i was able to improve it so I, as you can see there's a big difference between this image in this image and i also found out that the eyes that i apply to the character want actually character creator 3.3 plus eyes i had to find a different uh, option and those are the actual eyes that i expect you're expecting to see so if you look at the actual size and see if you can maximize this so this is what we needed to look at and you can see the nice uh, texture on the skin that's what was missing in the, in the previous uh, image and if i go back and we look at uh, this one you can see that uh, the, t uh, the details are not as uh, pronounced and the skin looks a little bit flat but in this one you can definitely see the improvement and all the details that come with it so let's go into character creator 3 and i show you some of the things that i was able to work with so this uh, is the character that i'm working with right now and as you can tell i was able to put in more time so that the, the textures could look better and I, I mean i had to imagine that if someone has been has received a, a scar this bad right I, I, there's no way the eye would survive so i had to go in and change the textures for the eye and so the eyes that i used in uh, originally if you would find them in content right let's go back to the base right under the eye in, in template not custom make sure you you're in the template uh, folder and in here so the eyes that i used i uh, were from this folder right here so these are not cc 3.3 plus eyes yeah for for the skin gen you needed the realistic eyes that are on the root so you need to go to the root of the eye fol folder click on it and these are the eyes that actually we needed to use yeah so those are the ones that i ended up using and i picked uh, i believe it was this one right i believe i used that that one right there so that's the one i was able to customize so if you want to have those realistic eyes please make sure you use the eyes on the root in here right not in the in this folder not in the cc3 real time you know folder rtl folder so make sure you're using these eyes right here those are the ones that will give you what we're looking at here in the uh, viewport that's what we needed to do and then i also did something else um i noticed that the teeth that i'd that initially come in with a does character uh, are not the best they don't look they don't look great so i had to go let me open the mouth i had to go in and add teeth that actually have the realistic character teeth so you can see the tongue but you can see the teeth they look like enamel right like the nice and glossy like saliva is on them and that that option or those selection of teeth again all don't go in these folders scroll down and use these teeth right here yeah now be careful because at the bottom there's also uh, the game teeth you don't need the game teeth you need uh, from one going upwards right so for example if i wanted to see we have this option so let me double click on this and replace the teeth uh, let's see how long it takes 
updating the morph data. There we go. So you can see these are much better teeth as a result. Yeah, because they look like real, real teeth. So that's what you need to do is uh, be careful as you're adding the element, the options of uh, the different parts of the face that you're using the correct uh, realistic teeth and the eyes as well. So the character looks great because I was able to update the texture and I was able to do that under the skin, under the editor. So let's see if we can go back to the... Uh, scroll up. So you can see the, the teeth that we added have different uh, materials. They are more realistic and they have all these nice features like almost subsurface scattering in the teeth if, it's, if that were possible but you can definitely tell like in real human teeth you have uh, layering you know the, the top core like coating and then the, and the enamel inside but anyway so it is possible to do a black character in character creator 3 and this is a character that I brought in from uh, a Daz studio right initially it looked uh, a little like <laughs> it was washed out but you can definitely make it look much better and give it uh and i even added some a, a beard right so you can see some detail on there and that is what i wanted to share with you in this video and so i did something more so i said that in my next video I would actually animate this character so to animate the character you would have to send it to iClone so i press this button you can either export as an avatar an i avatar or you can click on send to iClone right so i was able to send it to iClone and this is the character in iClone you can minimize that and i use uh, my iphone 10 to animate this uh let's uh, maximize this and it's playback so you can see the animation <laughs> so the guy is musing it's like man I just woke up to the it's like my worst nightmare and you know what's really neat is that even in iClone it kind of retains the the texturing but the, his eye is damaged and you can see the facial animation this is really really cool so and that one i was able to animate using the this uh, plugin called uh, motion live and in motion live i use live face which is uh, what connects to the iPhone 10. It has a profile for the iPhone 10 and this one. So I was able to click on, on live face and connect that to my iPhone 10. And over here, you just uh, select and use live face. And you can also use faceware uh, for real time and faceware live, okay? So please give it a try and let me know how, you, how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, please click like on the video and I'll continue to share more insight. So the next stage will be to actually t go to uh, Unreal Engine. I've already exported the character to Unreal Engine. Yeah, and we're gonna animate it using uh, the Live Link plugin. So out because I wanna be able to render in real time and let's see if we can switch to my other this camera so you get a sense of what it looks like so far so i'm excited uh <laughs> real illusion thank you so much for this major update and for uh, the epic team for unreal we thank you for making these tools so for us as uh, indie filmmakers and storytellers we can get these tools that seemed out of reach for us so thank you guys i uh, appreciate it and uh, i'll see you next time when we work in unreal and set up a nice scene and see how it all comes together so see you next time and again just as a, a wrap up it is possible to do black characters in character creator 3.3 using skin gen and bring it in from daz uh, studio and make it look really really good so thank you guys see you next time